What do you want to do? I don't know. We've been in this house all day. I think you're right. I think it's time we go outside. Like camping? Hey, that's a great idea. Yeah, and that way, we'll get some fresh air in no time. Yeah, you're right. Let's, Let's go, go camping. camping! It sure is nice weather out here. Yeah, let's be glad it's not raining. Hi! Oh, hi Kirby. I heard you guys are camping. And you know what that means? S'mores? Yup! I love s'mores! I'm sure you do, Kirby. Yes, I do. I also brought Jigglypuff with me. Hello! Oh god, you're not gonna sing, are you? No, I don't feel like singing right now. Phew, thank god. So, um, when are we going to have s'mores this coon? We can do that right now. Oh boy, I can't wait. You know, every time when I see a grill, it always reminds me of my lovely grill. Uh, Marx, what are you doing here? I heard you guys are going to tell each other campfire stories, so I decided to join in too. So, okay, time to roast some marshmallows. Say, are the marshmallows done yet, this coon? Well, let's see here. Hmm, even though I got one of the sides burnt, but hey, it still looks fine. Let's eat, shall we? Oh boy, I can't wait to eat some s'mores. Your s'mores are served, guys. Oh boy! Yum 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 Mark, it's not funny. His mouth is burning. So what? Mmm, 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 delicious. You know, Yellow, you really make some great s'mores. Next time when you see Pinkoon, you should make her a s'more. Yeah, I definitely should. I'm sure she'll love s'mores. You bet. I'm gonna beat you, Jigglypuff! No way! I'm gonna win this! What? Yay! I won! Well, great match, Jigglypuff! Sure. Hey guys, who's ready to tell campfire stories? Oh, hi Boo. You're not gonna take Shovel Knight Shovel Blade, are ya? Nah, I decided to take a break doing that for a while. So, anyways, who wants to tell a scary campfire story? I do. Really? Marx? Oh, come on, Black. I'm sure Marx's story won't be that scary. <sighs> Whatever you say. <laughs> this campfire story is going to be really scary. Are you sure you guys want to hear it? Yes, just tell us your campfire story already. Okay, whatever you say. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little girl who was walking into an abandoned town, and she was very lonely until she heard a creepy sound. She didn't know what it was. Hello? Anyone here? Asked said the girl. Then, she heard a creepy laugh and, the cre and there was a voice. Hey there, little girl. I heard you're lonely. Why don't you come to my fun house so we could play together? The little girl walked into the voice's place, but it wasn't a fun house. It was a trap! And the voice this whole time was a killer ghost clown. And the clown said, See you in hell. <laughs> he then murders the little girl by stabbing her chest. 
and puts her dead body under the rug. And the killer ghost clown laughs and said, See you soon, my children. <laughs> the end. Marx? Uh, I'm scared. Yeah, Marx. That was scary. What if he finds us? Relax, guys. It's only a scary campfire story. It's not like the killer ghost clown is going to find us. What was that? Oh, no. It's him. He knows where we are. We're all going to die. Boo, you're already dead. Oh, right. Um, guys, look. Ah! <laughs> Howdy, everyone. Good <laughs> Oh, it's just Banjo and Kazooie. Phew, what a relief. Boy, were you scared? <laughs> Kazooie, we weren't trying to scare them. I know. They didn't know it was us. Banjo, I'm scared because Mark's told us a scary story. Hug me. Aw, did Mark scare you? Yes. Oh, it's okay. I'll protect you from him. <laughs> wow, Discoon. You are acting like a baby right now. Hey, don't talk to my friends like that. So what? It's not my fault they're scaredy cats. <laughs> I brought a friend with me. Hi, guys. Hi, Diddy. Me and Banjo have been racing together. Right, Banjo? Uh -huh. Sure thing, buddy. But I sure wish Conker was here. Yeah, I know, but he's changed, buddy. Say, what are you in my campfire story? Sure, Banjo. Go right ahead. You got it, uh -huh. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Tony who walked into the woods when his parents told him not to go in the woods because it's dangerous. When he's in the woods, a pack of wolves attacked! Oh! Tony was scared, and he had no idea what to do until a mighty bear draws near, and he was beating up a pack of wolves with his mighty sword, and that bear name was Banjo! <laughs> really, Banjo? That sounds very unoriginal. Be quiet, Kazooie. I'm not done. Well, sorry. Anyways, the mighty Banjo saved Tony from the evil wolves, and Banjo said, You should ever go into the woods. Now, let me take you back home safely. The mighty Banjo then brings Tony home to his parents, and his parents are starting to worry about him. Tony returned home, and his parents gave him a big old bear hug. And it was all thanks to the mighty banjo girl, and they lived happily ever after the end. Great story, Banjo. Yeah, sounds great. Nice one, dude. Uh -huh. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> My story is much better. Well, your story was quite scary, actually. Wait a minute. Where's Black? Wasn't that box with you guys? Kazooie! Oh no! What if the killer ghost clown killed him? Who? <gasps> oh boy, here we go! Come on guys! We gotta find him! Black Coon! Black Coon! Black Coon! Black Coon! Hey Black Coon! Come out box boy! Come on, Black Coon. I know you're around here somewhere. Roar! Ah! What the hell, man? Well, that's what you get for telling us that scary story, Marks. <laughs> Black Coon! Where have you been? We were worried about you. I just had to go to the bathroom. Where do you think I was? Dead? No. Hello there, everyone. Oh, hi, Rosalina. What are you doing here? I came in for a short visit. So, how have you been, Kirby? Great. Is Luma here? 
No, I'm afraid not. He's at Galaxy School. He's a growing boy. Hey, wait a minute. I know you. You're that space princess who battled me in your classic mode. That's true. And I've heard your enemies with Kirby. Is that true? Yes, that's true and all. But right now, I am not causing any chaos right now. That's good. And, hey, you're that Bernie Bear duo that Mario told me. Uh -huh. You got that right. I'm Banjo. And I'm Kazooie. And you sure don't look like a Luma. Kazooie! Um, okay. Sorry about Kazooie, Rosalina. It's fine. I am actually the adopted mother of the Lumas and the protector of the cosmos. And I've heard you two are joining the roster this fall. I'm proud of you two. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rosalina. I can't wait to peck our opponents. I gotta get back to the uh, observatory. My Lumas are waiting for me to feed them. It has been nice meeting with you guys, and I hope we'll see each other again. Bye! Bye, Rosalina! We'll meet again soon! <laughs> Boy, I'm getting tired, Banjo. We should get some sleep, shall we? Sure, uh -huh. Then that means... Oh, no! Not again! Oh, boy. This can only end well. What's the matter, guys? Jigglypuff is gonna sing a song. Banjo, I have a bad feeling about this. Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. Huh? Oh, come on! Ah! Oh, that was a good sleep, huh? <sighs> why, Jigglypuff, why? Well, why do you keep falling asleep during my song? Like that lazy bear over there! Hey! Wake up, Randall! <laughs> oh, that poor beagle. Marks, that's not funny. So what? She insults people. Well, at least she isn't as bad as to Corey. See you later, guys. Bye. See you later. Well, meet again, guys. <laughs> and it was nice seeing you, Banjo and Diddy. Oh, right. You too, Kazooie. Thanks for letting us sleep in your tent, this coon. Come on, Banjo. Let's go race some more. Oh, okay. Bye-bye, this coon. Uh -huh. See ya, Fox Boys! <laughs> for crying out loud, will you stop calling us Box Boys? Ready to go home, Blackcoon? Yes, I'm ready. Let's go.